the result, as we mentioned, we talked to uh, Metro Metropolitan Police uh, Lieutenant a little while ago, and we tried to ask, you know, just how many people do they think have now converged into the area outside the White House here, around in the area of Black Lives Matters Plaza, uh, which is just beyond Lafayette Park, and they just said a lot, and that's where they're at right now, because what you're looking at right now is just a, 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 a tidal wave of people crammed up here outside, enjoying the day, and everybody we should mention, because obviously this is just uncharted territory and unprecedented times, but everybody is wearing a face mask here. And um, I think that's one thing that is worth noting, because these people, um, you know, through the last several months have not been able to get together, they've not been able to attend Biden rallies, campaign rallies, up until really today, when after they heard the news that Joe Biden would be the next president of the United States when he crossed that proverbial 270 mark that everyone had been watching on the Electoral College, when that happened, literally this place just filled up in a matter of minutes. And we wondered if that would sort of, you know, calm down or people would come and go after that. And that's exactly the opposite of what has happened here. It's only picking up in intensity. And again, we were here uh, at our news car and we turned around and suddenly we saw several hundred if not thousands of people right outside here literally dancing outside of our news car so we don't have to go very far to show you these images um, it's probably worth noting because we've been seeing it all along the president who went golfing today is back at the white house he made it back to the white house and we have not heard from the president today he tweeted earlier today a couple of things before he went out golfing he left the White House with the election still up in the air, and he returns um, now, like everyone else, waiting to hear from the projected winner, uh, President-elect Joe Biden, who will be speaking in Wilmington, Delaware. And the only thing left to be seen is whether these people have any plans of going home to watch Joe Biden speak tonight or whether they intend to keep this party going all night long. Again, plenty of police here. Everything that's happening is happening safely. Uh, obviously, not a lot of social distancing. That is uh, fairly easy to see, but everybody is wearing a mask, and uh, people just are letting off some steam, and 